Welcome to Flash from Scratch, Tutorial 22, Working with Layers. I have the CS5 program opened and I'm starting a new FLA. I just want to make the stage a little bigger, the width up here, make that 700. And here, this height, make it 550. Click OK. Start off on the scene one, and let's call this layer, just double click on it, sky, S K Y, and let's make this 50% so we can see the whole, the whole thing, right there, make it 50%, and pick up rectangle tool, and I usually draw things with, with a black black outline. You don't have to. You can make it real fancy if you want. I'm going to pick up a fill color that looks like it might be the sky. And I like that pretty light blue there. And I got a black stroke. And I'm just going to make a rectangle. There it is there. I'm going to pick up the selection tool, highlight it, and come over to my properties panel. And the first thing I want to do is make sure this here chain is unlocked. There it's unlocked. There it's locked. So unlock it. I know the width is 700. And the height, I wanted it to be at least half. So I think about 350-ish is good. 350. Now, while it's selected, this is the alignment panel right here. If you don't have it, click on Window, click on Alignment, and it will come up. Click on Alignment, and it comes up. But either way, once you got it up, just drag it. Once you got it here, just grab it and drag it and put it on here because you always want to use it. Align to Stage, and I want the horizontal alignment to Stage. I'm not going to use the vertical because I want it to be a bit higher than that. So I'm just going to move it up like that. And there's my sky. Up here is an eyeball and a lock and a pencil. The pencil means that's the layer I'm working on. Well, I only have one, uh, one layer. The eyeball tells me whether or not I can see it. This lock tells me whether I lock it or not. When it's locked, you can't do anything on this layer. And there's also this one here that just shows the outline, the vector points. So let's lock this layer. We're finished with the sky. Right here, insert a layer. Just click on it. Let's call this mountains. M-O-U-N-T, mountains. I'm going to use my pencil tool. And I'm going to start here and draw some mountains. Don't be fussy with them. And take them down. Even down past the sky, doesn't matter because we're going to have other things in here. And there's my mountains. And you can do things like put in a like a valley here. Just don't go too much overboard. And a valley here. There's a couple of valleys in my mountain. Oh, let's put another little one here. There, there's three valleys on this mountain. I don't like that one there. Let's go this way with it. There. There's that's my mountain range pick up a fill color here and mountains are dark because the way in the background I'm going to go with this create oh I don't like that there's a brownish color here okay and pressure fill and that fills in now you can spend time with this if you want and play around with it that's up to you now this is what I do next to clean it up pick my selection tool clip the end off it like that highlight it it turns all fuzzy delete it come over here do the same delete it now select it all notice we're not selecting the sky because that's on a different layer while it's all fuzzy select it open it up and again make sure this is unlocked and change the width to 700 enter and open that alignment panel and align it again horizontally and that puts that right in the center for you 
so that's nice okay lock that layer now you can see that the mountains in front of the sky because the sky is on the bottom if I put the sky on top the sky would be on top that's the first thing you want to learn about when you have more than one layer and if I want to see the sky what it looks like press this and right there's the outline there's one there I can do a both of them there's all the vector points okay lock that layer two layers are locked make sure the top layer is selected insert another layer call it background trees B G T R E E S I don't usually put spaces here background trees select that layer frame pick up your pencil tool again and make uh, some some trees here and we're going to do exactly the same thing bring them down to about here again we're going to fill it took the fill color and I want a, a darkish green uh, there's a nice dark green here I like that green and that fills in for us and again you can use the pencil tool and draw in some things we're going to cut the ends off it again and we're going to make it 700 so it fits the stage and we're going to align it to the center so far so good now I want the desert it's going to be something like some land I'm going to put it like a desert so let's again make our pencil tool oops select that last layer make sure they're all locked insert a layer desert E E S up the pencil tool and you're going to just draw a line that represents where the desert is again if you're doing this like this and this is going to be a, a funny brownish sandy brownish color for my fill oh see that opening there's an opening right there to close the gap I used my selection tool and you can see I, I clicked I left click till I got that little right angle line and then I just dragged those two points and pulled them together and I might not even be able to close it I may have to try that all over again oh there we go there's that one little opening again I'm cutting the ends off so I can fit it on the stage highlighting it you already got the picture 700 and align it to center and I think I want to just make this this water lock this desert layer pick up a, another layer call it water W A T E R and with my pencil tool I'm going to draw some water just going to draw a line like this really sloppy don't want to be too fussy with it make sure it's a closed loop I have a crazy blue color here selected okay I fill bucket and there's my water but I want my water to be behind my desert so I'm going to put the desert on top of my water there now take this tool cut the ends off same thing as we did before delete that delete that highlight it 700 and doing this over and over give you practice mostly don't need to change the height align it to center and now we want to cut the bottom off it okay so let's again grab this anywhere delete it now see we went too far but that's alright I can just click on it and with my arrow keys bring it down now it's a little bit too small so let's 
grab this free transform tool see it free transform tool you have two choices on the free transform and if I just take this little ball here pull it down here then I can pull this up inside there we go there is our three one two three four five layers okay let's put uh, one more static object on the so select this top layer insert a layer call it tree like just one tree t-r-e-e -E. now I'm not good at drawing trees but I'm going to draw a tree it's going to stand here it's going to be a good size tree here it goes just a branch 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 not being too fussy it's just a tree branch and I have this outline of this crazy tree if you if you have some parts you want to manipulate pick up your selection tool and you see where that's a bit too fat if I move my cursor till I get that arch I can click there and move that in and I can click here and move it this so you can sort of reshape it I want to pick up a fill color and I want it to be a a brownish color okay I'm gonna go with this one ah there we go like that better so that's my tree took some time uh, what else let's make the tree a little taller so I'll click on my free transform tool again highlight it so I gotta unlock that layer and just put this dot down here because that anchors this point and just bring the tree up there we go and a little just a little wider ah there's my tree now I want to put one more thing I want to animate something I want to have a cloud come across the sky I think that's enough for this tutorial I'll do a follow-up it'll be flash from scratch tutorial 23 layers and animation save this FLA if you plan on doing the the next part I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned